Should we do another Barbie? We've got about another hmm, 10 to go. So anyway, you can always pause this video and watch this again later. I've got a lot of packing to do after this. Packing up some things. Right, here we go. This is another Barbie then. I quite like wrapping them up in this muslin. It keeps them really nice actually, because they can breathe as well. Oh look, didn't we just unwrap her? That's really weird. Oh. Oh no, she's just very, very similar to that princess one I had, that fairy princess. So she's a different one because she's got her um, her fan. So this is a more of a what late eighties, nineties Barbie. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Lovely hair though. Beautiful hair. Very pretty. Okay, I'm running out of space. Oh, to put you on jazzy. Okay. Let's do, aha, uh ah, -huh. uh, I know who this is. Get ready, can you see? And he's in his original outfit as well. It's Mr. <gasps> Sport and Shave Ken. And as predicted without his hand, did anybody have a Sport and Shave Ken who managed to keep a hand on. I swear, every time I went to play with him, he lost his hand. And I don't know if you still can, but there used to be the factory you could send him back to. So I'd sent him back to the factory asking for a new hand, and they actually put on a new hand onto my original Ken, because I would have been very, very upset if they had just kept my original Ken and given me back a new one. So they actually went to the trouble of sticking a new hand in and to apologise for the inconvenience of me not having Ken, he came back with another Ken, with Malibu Ken, which must be somewhere in there. So one day I opened up, I got my Ken back with his hand and Malibu Ken. Anyway, sport and shave. Remember, this must have been his shaver or something. I don't know. It came from. And it came with a pen, a bit like a Sharpie, although it wasn't indelible. And then you, you literally had to draw his beard or moustache or whatever, whatever you wanted to do and then I don't know was it just water you could just sort of he had a shaver thing or something and you could just literally shave down and then the ink would disappear it was quite clever and he also had um, longer hair like a bob but um, I thought it looked a bit feminine on him I mean I was young it doesn't bother me now but I thought you know he needs to match up a bit so he um had a haircut. My um, I think my mum gave him a haircut, so I gave him a few haircuts. And I never, ever, ever cut my doll's hair except sport and shave, shave Ken. He needed a haircut. There we go. And he was very articulate. He was very muscular. Look at that. Maybe like to have a six pack. <gasps> Looking. Oh, you know what? This is Malibu Ken's shorts over the top. That's. I think that's what's going on. Or are these just his boxer shorts? He's having a bit of a weird day. Anyway, sport and shave, Ken. Yay. There we go. I don't know where you're... Oh, here. I've got to... Excuse me for a second. Running out of space. Now, I'm curious to know who this little one is. Oh, haha. -ha. I just bought her in the market in Oxford for £2. I called her Daphne. She's just a very nice, lovely little vintage doll and again she's got the same dress on that I had my Jenny dresses in now because I haven't come across her yet the dress I patterned this style from was a Miss Amanda Jane's original dress so if we come across Miss Amanda Jane you'll recognize that dress but it's a very very sweet dress I've got to find that pattern again it, it really suits a lot of dolls there we go it's Daphne Okay, moving on, we have Magical Curl. Ah, oh, yes, I did have two of these. Why? I don't know. I must have had one as a gift. I have a feeling my aunt might have given me one for my birthday, not realising that I was in the hair. Yes, yes, yes. So remember, this was the one who was in the Murray Quant um, Daisy coat, and this one is in her original outfit. Okay, she's even got very, very 
curly hair. Beautiful, yeah. Very stylish. Okay. I'm just going to stop the video again. I need to get some water. Hey, look, while I was gone, I just went through the leaflets again. And this one belonged to Silky. Do you remember Silky? Was she um, Tressie's younger sister? Now, I doubt if I've still got my Tressie. She was the one who had um, that little hairpiece that disappeared inside her head. And when you twisted the button at the back, the hairpiece would grow, so she literally had real life growing hair. And I think Silky was kind of like a younger sister. She, she was a bit smaller. Um, I remember her hairpiece came out once, another trip to the factory. They were very good actually back in those days. Tressie and Silky's hair pieces were always coming out. I loved these illustrations. I remember pouring over those with Harry. I thought she was ever so glamorous looking in those illustrations. Look at that. Beautiful. Lovely. So that's, that's Silky. No, I would be super, super surprised if I could actually find my Silky. But anyway, I spot Pink and Pretty. Pink and Pretty was one of the nicest Barbies in the 70s, early 80s, I think. She, she just had a lovely skin tone to her. It's kind of a lovely tan. And it's, it was just a beautiful hair colour. It wasn't like that bright platinum blonde. It was a lovely kind of warm, beigey blonde. Really thick. And I used to imagine, ooh, original shoe, doesn't move that. I used to imagine that she was an Oscar winner. So I wanted to be an actress growing up. And I used to imagine that when I went to the Oscars, I'd wear an outfit like this too. So this was her kind of fur stole. Look at that. There's a fur stole with these little bits at the end. And you could take this bit off. And you could tie it around in different ways. I remember the leaflet came and it had her, you could turn this into a kind of cape and oh, I just thought she was so glamorous looking. And I don't, I have a feeling that top belongs to a Cindy. I, no, yes, because her top was pink and it was tighter fitting and it had little silver sparkly spots on it. So that's gone. But this is Cindy's, I remember, so that's not her original top. Gosh, I remember more of what these wore than I did about my history classes at school. Mm. Okay, so that's the pink and pretty Barbie. Okay, right, and another one. Gosh, I am going to have a long evening tonight wrapping all these back up. Who is this? No, I don't know if I'm gonna know which Barbie this is. Okay. Oh yeah, she's a random. Oh, I'm, I've got a leaf, I've got a sticker on here. Nope, doesn't say. She's a random, and I think uh, this is just one, a sort of a generic outfit, not particularly belonging to Barbie. I think it's just a sort of doll outfit you could buy. I think I probably got it in Debenhams, if I remember when Debenhams used to be a bit different to how it was now. So uh, that's just a random Barbie. We'll move on from there. I'm gonna start eating some more here. Who is at the back? Ah! Recognize her? Do, 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 do. It's Charlie's Angels. It's Cheryl Ladd. Chris Monroe, there we go, it's Cheryl Ladd, and she came on a skateboard. So these, you had Cheryl Ladd, Jacqueline Smith, and Sabrina Duncan. Was that her, Kate Jackson, wasn't it Kate Jackson? Oh my gosh, so I got Cheryl Ladd because she had blonde hair and I wanted to be Cheryl Ladd. Look, she's in her original outfit. Hmm. So she was a nice size, she wasn't quite as big as Barbie. Um, and how he got those boots on, I do not know. A lot of 
dolls in the 70s had these long plastic boots. But that's her face mold. And these are on the internet quite a bit. And there she is, skating along, the true Charlie's Angel. I spy with my little eye somebody who is going to make Skipper very happy. Any guesses? Let's open him up. There we go. Quite some handsome stud there, eh? Oh, it's Scott. Hello, Scott. Skipper's boyfriend. There we go. Twizzles his head and I actually never thought he was actually that good looking. I thought Ken was by far the better looking of the two. Now, was Scott also Ken's brother? But that would be a bit weird. I don't know. I believe Scott dated Skipper or maybe I've got that wrong I know obviously Skipper's Barbie's sister but two brothers dating two sisters that would have been a little bit mm. anyway Scott has some roller skates do, 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 do. so I won't put them on but there we go skates along and there he is he's in his original outfit looking looking ever much the perfect wife. Look at that. And there is Glory. Scott. So we're going to put you down. I'm going to start keeping some of the girls here. Who is this in the corner? There's a little one coming up. Oh, 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 it's Marie. This was a gift from my lovely Dolly friend, Jonathan Hayes. Shout out. He makes beautiful dolls. Ninidoll.com. Follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Nini Dolls. Beautiful gift. Thank you, Jonathan. That's Marie. Wonderful, wonderful with the shoes and everything. Oh, I'm going to have to display these pippers somehow. They're far too beautiful to, to be wrapped up. She's a beautiful one. In the corner, who do we have here? Bit of a diversion. Guten Tag, Bavarian. So it's one of those Bavarian souvenir dolls. And does she have a key? I believe I don't have the key, but she's got a metal bit at the back. Put the key in, and then I think she'd kind of do a sort of wobbly kind of dance thing. I think she'd kind of go or something like that, if I remember. If I had the key, maybe I have an Allen key might go up. I should put that in. Anyway, please, please show up on the internet. I'll be the same. Mm. So moving on. So we've got about another eight Nepal here. I've just got a bag of dolls here. I'm intrigued to see what I would have put all together in a bag. So that's just a knitted random dress. Now that used to be on Cindy, so I'm wondering if there might be a Cindy in here, although it doesn't look size-wise like there might be. Oh, oh, talk of the devil. It's Miss Amanda Jane. Here we go. So there's her original dress. You can see it. And she was pretty. She was such a pretty doll. There you go. Now, mm, oh, this is making me sad. I kept her hair really nice. She used to have a little curl that came out all around the back head and I can't remember what happened to her. only a few years ago I came across her because she wasn't always in this box and singed her hair I don't know what I was doing so I ended up having to cut the hair after all that time anyway it looks like a nice bod but isn't she beautiful she was the older sister of Amanda Jane which I do have too I'm sure somewhere but look at that dress I just think it's so lovely look it's got little pleats all around there little bow. It's very simple. It's got the centre seam there and the back seam. So I, I just took the dress off and I just cut a pattern from it. It's all so simple. And then um, stitched it together, made the pleats. So um, I like Hitty dolls. I do a lot with Hitty and sort of that size doll. Um, anyway, 
Miss Amanda Jane, Miss Amanda Jane. So that means there must be an Amanda Jane. Yes, there is. There we go. This is my original Amanda, Amanda Jane. Now I don't know if Amanda Jane was in America, but we English, British I should say, Welsh, Scottish, Irish, all that. She was very, very popular. And this is mine in her original outfit. There you go. And, uh, her hair was all, went a bit frizzy though, you had to be careful. So she had bunches. Again, very, very pretty doll. Very pretty. So I think, did they reintroduce Amanda Jane? I, my memory's thinking that there were some modern versions of her. But, um, yeah, she was one of those dolls that was just a bit different from everybody, everything else. You know, if you wanted a, a break from Barbie or something a bit different. She was just sweet. You know, show them together. I mean, look how beautiful those faces are together. They're just lovely. Yeah. And the perfect doll size. Sweet. <sighs> oh, I might have to start collecting Amanda James. Right. It's not doing my res me very good to think I need all these more dolls. Anyway, um, right. Teeny tiny thing in here. What, what is this? <laughs> oh, it's, um, Ari doll. Ari? Oh, what's written today? Proper doll. No, Ari. Sweet, lovely doll. This is my original one. Very, very sweet. These are nice and collectible. Lots of them on the internet. Very lovely. German, are they German? Look, all rubber. And they're beautifully made. Again, lovely to collect. Yep, I'm going to have to collect some of those. Beautiful. Jonathan Hayes, aka Nini Dolls, he sent me a lovely little Ari doll too, somewhere. It's in a little, little house, so they need to be together, really. Who else? Gosh, who are you? Oh, I do have a Jacqueline Smith. This is a Jacqueline Smith. Friend of Cheryl, who I has gone somewhere. I'm losing track of where are they? Where is it? Cheryl? Anyway, can't find her. Anyway, Charlie's Angel. You can see what their bodies are like now. So they they've got a, a nail or a screw through. And the body twists, but it would have twisted at the waist, so I don't want to push too much. So there you go. That's Jacqueline Smith. And then who else? Oh, this is. No, it's not. Oh, yes, I remember her. Who is she? She's not Barbie, she's obviously based quite a bit on Barbie, but who is she? Does anybody remember? And she had a, a longer kind of sarong thing that went over. Um, she's a, maybe she was just a kind of a random bit. If you know the name of her in the comments, but I used to love that bikini, it fitted so well. And I loved her darker tan too. So anyway, she is, a little beauty there. 